Hello everyone, welcome to uh, this video which is an introduction to uh, creating documents in Widget Online. Uh, the website is widgetonline.com and if you click on login you'll be able to log in. If you don't have uh, a username and password please get in touch with us at school uh, for us to create you an account. Now uh, there is, once you get logged in, this is your general interface where you can uh, see the work that you've saved in my documents. Uh, there is a shared folder and um, I've started adding a few um, of the widget examples in here so that you can uh, have a little look, look, look around at some of the different things that you can do. Um, so if I go um, back to my documents I'm just going to show you how you can create uh, a new document. So I'm going to go for a blank document in this instance and as you'll see here I've got a flashing cursor and I'm able to type. So maybe this is going to be a social story. Um, as I type a picture is automatically put at the top here. So in this social story uh, maybe it is leaving the house and um, you can see the pictures have gone above. Okay, so when the front door is opened and you leave, it may feel different. Okay, so I've just put a, a little sentence in here. It's thinking about it. Now, if I'm um, just looking at the symbols that have gone in so far, um, if I wanted, for instance, um, on your here, if I click on it, if I want um, a different symbol, then I can actually search for it up here. But maybe we don't want symbols for every single word in here. So you can actually click and choose no symbol if you wish. And certainly with, with something like uh, and, maybe it's a good example of a word that children may um, be familiar with or not need to get the meaning from the sentence. Um, so it may be that you want to use a different symbol. So uh, let's go for, for social story instead. So if you um, do a little link at the top, it's only found one for that. But if I choose a book, you can see we've got a different one here. So if I choose uh, to drag the symbol over now, I can change the symbols. So we can drag symbols in from here. Um, if you have images of your own that you want to, to use, if I click on the image library here, you can upload an image um, if you've got a photograph or something similar and it will mean that here's one that I've uploaded previously which is the uh, the aardvark here that I'm going to put in there as a title and I'm actually going to put that in as a large title I think uh, okay if I don't want that one I'm going to press the delete so um, you can see how you can get different symbol images into a, um, a document here what's quite nice as well is You've got a speech option, so if it's... When a, the front door is opened and you leave, it may feel different. Oh, just spotted that. When the front door is open and you leave, rather than your leave, um, it will actually uh, read the sentence. So if children are using Widget online, and they get some really good feedback via the uh, power of the speech um, in terms of, of what's on the screen there. So um, there are some basic features as well for editing the text, such as the font and the size and all that kind of thing. Um, there are some layout options, page breaks, all that kind of stuff. Um, and on the tools up here, we can actually copy as an image is quite neat because it allows you to uh, take a section of the screen and, um, and then uh, put it into something else, such as Microsoft Word or whatever, if you wanted to. Then there's also speech input, which again is quite useful. You're in speech input mode. Full stop. Can you tell me if this is working well or not? So you can see uh, with the speech input there, um, a bit of a mixed bag, but this, that's me on my Mac with some background noise. The quieter environment, the better the chance of, of recognizing the words. So there's a pretty neat feature in there. Um, if I go um, and click the save option now, um, I'm going to call this one um, social and if I um, search the symbols we get a, a symbol that's saved as along with the uh, 
the document. And if I go back home now, you see it's exiting this session and you can see I've got my uh, social that I've just made that I can view, I can even get a PDF if I want one. Um, or there's some of the other documents that I've made previously. Now the create a grid bit is incredibly powerful. There's so many terrific features on here. And um, you can open um, from the default ones, I haven't. I don't think you can actually change the size of the, uh, the things, the grids once you've created them. But there are so many things that you can make from the templates on here. So this is to make a template for a, a, a planner for the day. And um, if the uh, day starts with PE, for example, and then English, and then uh, oh, it may be that you uh, you actually prefer to do. That symbol for English, so you can just drag it on over. Uh, and then maths, and then if I put in uh, computing to finish off, you can see it's putting in the symbols for me. Um, if I choose, um, I can put it at the top here, just call it timetable. Oops, sorry, terrible typing. Uh, it's putting a little timetable symbol for me, and I can save this and uh, print it. As we wish but I'm not going to save this I'm just going to close without saving because I just want to show you a couple more of the example documents on here the timetable ones really useful um, also there is the uh, fantastic communication section where there's um, com communication book pages so you can make um, bespoke really pages for any communication book or folder or whatever that you, you might want to put together. Um, so this, you can see it's got the whole punches ready. So it may be that I'm going to put animals in here and I'm going to put, in fact, I should try and do them alphabetically. So I'm going to put my aardvark in first of all, and my cat and the dog. And you can see how this is something that could be printed out, ready for um, use in a, a, a communication book. If um, as with the aardvark here, it doesn't actually recognize. Um, it hasn't got a symbol for aardvark. You can put your own picture in. As you can see, I've already uploaded an aardvark one in for here. And I'm just going to put elephant in over here. So um, it's um, that's a, a very quick overview of Widget Online. I'm just going to press home now. And um, it's really intuitive. It's very nice to, um, and easy to use and um, enjoy using. Thank you for watching.